Brother Elrich, awaken. I'd best not keep the abbess waiting. Good morning, Abbas. Thank you. Now, the sun is rising. You must not miss Prime. I appreciate the reprieve and the awakening. I call it a weakness. Your father's name will be a stone around your neck in evening. Ah, you have a difficult path ahead of you, I'm afraid. Yes, Abbas. Well, there's nothing to be done about it. Better you prove yourself early than risk becoming the subject of gossip. I will, Abbas. You may break your fast in the kitchen with the others once your prayers are concluded. <laughs> we don't frown on piety here, brother. Should you wish to stay at chapel to pray to the Lord once your duties are concluded, you may be assured that food will be available to you, as long as you go to the kitchen before terse. That's mid-morning? Precisely, my son. Must not miss Prime. Yet the scriptures. Voluntas tua, sicut in celo et in terra. 
Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis hodi, et dimiti nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris. Et ne nos inducas in tentationem, et liberalus amalo. Amen. Time to eat. And there she was an abbess. And then used to wear woolen garments. But she rarely bathed in hot water except before Easter. And before the 50th day. And before the day of Christ's baptism. And during the day, she rarely had a meal more than once a day. And from the time of Matins, she stayed in church, praying, until it was day. And through God's Spirit, she herself predicted when she would depart from the world. And she did then depart. And she was buried in the ground for 16 years. And when her body was exhumed again, it was found to be as undecayed as if she had died that same day. 
and a large wound had been open on her neck when she had been put in it. And when she was later exhumed from the grave, it had healed, so that there was nothing but a trace. Well, brother Oswin, we must have silence at the Lord's table. <coughs> brother! Very well. No, that do we Take him to the infirmary. But the bishop no, shall hear of your defiance. Well, if the gast knew, he and in shilling with a Tell me, Oswin, where does it hurt? Everywhere, brother. It's like there's fire in my veins. I will find a way to ease your pain. I promise. Photogrammetry isn't just a very hard word to say, it's also an innovative technique for in-game textures. Determined to illustrate accurate surfaces, the graphics team travelled to England to capture every inch of stone walls and pavements, sometimes for 12 hours straight. A three-metre wall would take 250 pictures, stitched together by specialised software. The final result is a 3D file with colours and depths designed into tileable textures. These textures are then used by level artists and modelers to add onto buildings. To push the realism further, the graphics team also added uneven silhouettes with protruding stones, and slate angles and damaged areas. Must find the monk in charge. Father Bertwald, was it? I hope you can treat that patient yourself. God, in his infinite wisdom, only gave me two hands. The patient speaks of fire in the veins, Father. An uncommon ailment, and one I don't know by heart. The scribes often copy remedies in the scriptorium. You may be able to find something there to aid you. But if not, Sister Winifred will be able to help. Yes, Father. Scriptorium. Right, I remember where that was. As the Monastery of Ely had been destroyed, level designers and artists had to draw their inspiration elsewhere. More specifically, from the Saint-Martin du Canigou Abbey in France. Despite the construction being two centuries older than AC Valhalla's time period, it offered interesting architecture for the players to enjoy, atop a hill for great scenery, a cloister to clear the perspective, and the bell tower to provide an iconic viewpoint. Finally, an underground tunnel was added, a unique feat perfect for a surprise attack. But some things remain accurate. Several eels were placed in the waters circling the monastery, a nod to the feature that gave it its name.
honeymoon referred to the Scandinavian practice of giving newlyweds a moon cycle's worth of mead. Which is too much mead. But honey was valued by Angles and Norsemen alike. It was then vital for the developers to represent the beekeeping practice as faithfully as possible. Depending on each region's real flora, fields of flaxseeds, poppies and heather were designed and implemented by modellers and level artists. The flowers used as a seamless way to guide players through their environment. The beehives, seen from afar, also act as a natural marker. <laughs> you might say, a beacon. And are surrounded by NPCs collecting the honey. Sorry about the beacon thing. Level artists and designers used different types of forests to structure England's kingdoms. Oak trees, ivy and rowan in Wessex, heather fields, scott pine trees, moss and willow trees in East Anglia, beech trees, bluebells and autumnal birch trees in Mercia, and tundra bushes, western gorse, dead and frozen trees in Northumbria. Ubisoft Sophia even recreated Wistman's Wood in Hamptonshire, using the pictures the development team took during their scouting trip. To do so, they integrated old, medium-sized trees, a smattering of rocks, a soup song of moss, and a bit of fog to complete this ominous atmosphere. Can I help you, brother? Oh! Let me just... Ah, oh, no. No! No luck. 
I'll have to ask Sister Winifred. Sister Winifred! I've looked but can't find a remedy. Tell me, what is the cure for fire in the veins? A dire challenge indeed. Ox's recipe for pain should aid us here. You will need double brood ale, honey, fever few, and wormwood. Though with the raids nearby of late, and the early first frost, you may have trouble with the latter. Is there anything that can replace it? Well, I have heard that dust from a relic can have miraculous properties. We're blessed here in Ellie to have several. Perhaps, if you gather some, the saints will intercede on your patient's behalf. Thank you, sister. God bless you. Double brewed ale, honey, fever few, and the dust of a relic. Should be simple enough. They might have ale in the kitchens. One found. Three to find. The relics are kept at the back of the chapel. That's two. Halfway done. The nuns had set up to gather honey round here. Do I just take it? Or. Careful, brother. You wouldn't want to get stung. The bees jealously guard their golden hoard. I need honey for a remedy. Can you help me? Of course. Take the honey from the table. I'll gather more for the abyss. Thank you, sister. God bless you. And that's the third. Now for the last. Feverfew grows best in full sun, and hopefully far from the sister's bees. What does Feverfew look like again? Good morrow, brother. What brings you to the woods? Good morrow. Do you know where I could gather Feverfew or Wormwood? No Wormwood left this season. As for Feverfew, no small white daisies are what you seek. Thank you, brother. God bless you. I have everything I need. Now to mix it. Sister Winifred brought me the recipe from the scriptorium. And now, I am delighted to discover you know the use of the mixing bench too. Would that God had sent you to me sooner? The infirmary would be in far better shape. I spent many summers mixing poultices for the townsfolk in Canterbury. Then I shall observe and hopefully learn some new tricks of my own. What was the first ingredient in Sister Winifred's remedy? First ingredient is double brewed ale. Which two ingredients did you gather in the forest? It's 
It was fever few and honey to ease the throat. What did Sister Winifred suggest you substitute for the final ingredient? Dust from a relic is said to cure many ills. There. Done. This should ease Brother Oswin's pain. Here, brother, drink this. It will ease your pain. No, you must go now. Hurry! I hope the abbess will tell me what's going on. Abbas, what is happening? Come with me, Brother Elridge. The heathens are on their way, and we must secure the relics before they approach. Then we shall all flee together? No, Brother. The others prepare to fight. Collect the reliquary, please. Forgive me, blessed saints, but I must carry you from your place of rest. Abbas, don't leave me! Now come, we have no time to spare. Take the relic to your father. Our families may share no love, but we are of a mind when it comes to the Lord. He will know what to do. That man is a stranger to me. As was our Lord Jesus Christ when he died on the cross for our sins. Help often comes from unexpected hands, brother. Now, follow quickly. the catacombs. Remain swift and silent. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures and leads me beside the still waters. 